watching prime time this season, it's hard to tell if anything is taboo anymore. During the family hour, there's been nudity and sex that Ward and June Cleaver never even dreamed about. It has helped the networks in their battle for ratings, but some people, including some stars, say it's gone too far. Sex and how much is too much in prime time. Today's Inside Story. They've got a sighting. The series Going to Extremes premiered with an actress bearing her backside. Beautiful. An episode of Civil Wars featured Marielle Hemingway in the nude. Both these scenes aired during the final minutes of primetime viewing. But it's the shows aimed at kids and families that make this the raciest TV season on record. Doogie Howser has gone skinny dipping with a girlfriend. The teen heartthrobs of Melrose Place have sizzled. And the sitcom Hearts of Fire has heated up with love scenes. All this goes on during the family hour. I just want to make sure that you and Jack are safe. This new wave of sensuality startles Linda Lavin. Her latest series, Room for Two, has her planning to bed her boyfriend. Here, let me say the words. Sex. Condoms. In the same time period ten years ago as Alice, she had to watch every word when she told her TV son about sex. There was a dictum that came down which said, you can't say ovary more than once. That's a titillating word, I guess, ovary. Sexual situations in youthful shows make some stars uneasy. Maya Bialik, better known as Blossom, mm -hmm. believes her on-screen romance is okay for kids, but she is shocked by the sexy daydreams of her TV brother. We'll read scripts and we'll say, gosh, can we do this on television? You know, can we have all these half-naked women just prancing around? Um, and the answer is usually yes, you know, television is really just changing, and it has changed, and it'll continue to change, and, you know, I'm kind of afraid to turn on the TV these days. Some media watchers are alarmed by this rapid increase in sex during early prime time. According to family therapist Linda Block, these shows send a dangerous message by repeatedly showing well-to-do single people engaging in casual sex. These people on television set an example. Children think this is the way they need to, to gear their lives, and if they see that relationship, that between success and casual sex, then I think it's a very bad example. But stars like Paul Reiser defend their shows. He and co-star Helen Hunt made news with this tabletop love scene on the comedy Mad About You. Can you imagine if Fran walked in? Reiser says detractors should leave this show about newlyweds alone. What's nice about Mad About You is that these are two intelligent, adult, married people. So. Literally, whatever they want to do in the privacy of their home is literally their business. We just happen to film it. And Taya Leone of the new comedy Flying Blind says get used to her romps with Corey Parker. She thinks TV sexuality is refreshing. I like these new shows that are coming on that are tackling uh, sexuality at a younger age. I don't think it's indecent. And that's fun and that's real. While the debate rages, the ratings show that sex sells. Hearts of Fire and Mad About You are becoming hits. Marielle Hemingway's posing gave Civil Wars a huge boost. Dorothy Swanson of Viewers for Quality Television says, audiences who are offended have only one solution, and that is to switch channels. I'm not sure who is the most guilty party here. Maybe the viewers are most guilty for accepting it. I, I put the burden of responsibility on, on the viewers to reject that, that kind of, of, of silliness. A recent poll by Entertainment Weekly magazine shows that most people are not offended by the amount of sex on television. And while they don't mind if a TV couple makes love under the sheets, they do not like to hear people talk about it.